I have another embarrassing one. I'll just I'll just trot this out real quick, uh, as long as we're just like leaving it all in the court. Uh, when I was in my freshman year of college, the same girlfriend who I got frosted tips with, uh, I wanted to surprise her for her birthday, uh, and I, oh boy, and uh, uh, I wanted to do something that she had talked about for a long time, but I thought just never had the courage to do. I am terrified right now. I'm I'm legit. I'm legitimately moving away from my computer and microphone. <laughs> Don't move it. Just hang there with me. Uh. Uh, uh, whoo, uh, okay, I'm just gonna commit, I'm just gonna go for it. So I made her put on a blindfold, and I drove her to, uh, Davidson's Music, which had, was a combination CD store and piercing place, and I brought her in the front door, removed the blindfold, and say, said, uh, uh, this is my girlfriend, and she would like to get her belly button pierced, please. Because she talked about it for so long. (laughs) She left a girlfriend-shaped dust cloud as she vacated the prison. That is the craziest thing I've ever... I know. In retrospect... No, no, no. That's something a serial killer does. (laughs) I thought it was a grand gesture. You were... Okay, appropriately enough, you were doing it to a high school girl, which is what a serial killer would also... That's also the intended target. And you blindfolded her again. If you had said, this is my girlfriend, I'm going to murder her in front of you. I'm not kidding. Everything about... The the blindfold, the the dual purpose establishment where you took her, the surprise piercing, all of these things combined are a serial killer. If it wasn't you telling me this, I would be calling the fucking police right now. That's the craziest thing... That's the craziest thing I've ever heard. We're not together anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't work out. <laughs>